Hi there. I wanted to talk to you today about your customization code. More importantly, how most of people tend to forget it and wind up digging themselves into a bit of a hole. A lot of you, when you do your install of Deep Freeze, you're going to notice we prompt you for your customization code. Yeah, as you can see on screen, it's a window we pop up, ask you for a string. It's used as an encryption key of sorts to make your copy of Deep Freeze unique to you. So I can't walk into your network and grab control of your machines and start messing with stuff with my copy of Deep Freeze and your workstations. Now, the problem is this is something we ask for at install time and a lot of people punch it in and just kind of forget about it. And normally it's not something you're ever gonna see again. However, there are occasions, you know, server crash, reinstall, new server, um, any number of reasons why even we might prompt you for a new custom, for your customization code again during your install process of an upgrade to the software, if you're connecting to Cloud Connector, whatever it may be. And at that point, we usually get a panicked phone call from someone saying, basically, I've lost this code, how can you help me? And the unfortunate news is we really can't. These codes are rigged up in a way so that once it's entered in, we have no way to recover it or know what the original code actually was. And in the case that you've got the wrong code, a bunch of bad things can happen. In the case of doing an install on your machine, if we enter in the wrong code, what winds up happening is the entire software just kind of stops working. So when I go into my enterprise console, when I open up my configuration administrator, things just don't work. I won't be able to open my install packages. My workstations won't report in. So when I look in here, none of my computers are ever going to report in here because the code doesn't match. If I go into my configuration administrator and try to open a previously saved install package, voila, I get an error. Now, as I said, we can't recover these codes. It's actually not possible for us to tell you what you entered into that screen. We do list this in the user guide in a couple places, but you know, who reads user guides these days, right? Um, so I'm gonna ask everybody who sees this video to do one thing, please, to make my life easier. Document your customization code. Write it down, stick it in an envelope, nail it to the wall, tattoo it on your foot, tattoo it on your cat if you want, whatever. Something that, to do this that you're not going to lose this code. Because if you've lost this code, your only option is to really rip everything out and start all over again. Now, if you find yourself in a situation where you've got the wrong customization code, we can reset it. It's not something that, you know, you're going to completely lose everything. To reset your code, you just browse to the program files, x86, Veronix, Deep Freeze Enterprise folder, and you look for this file here called dfinit. When I run this, it's going to ask me for my customization code again. And I say yes, I'm going to reinitialize it, and now I enter my proper high security, ever so secure, don't share this with anybody, customization code. Once this is in, I hit finish. And the software goes through and sets everything back up and resets this code and brings everything back online. Now, once this is done, if you've got the right code and it was just you incorrectly typed it into the keyboard for some reason, when I go to open that install file again in the shared folder, again, now everything opens up. When I go into my enterprise console, my workstations will report in here once the service kicks in and everything starts to come back online. When I go to connect, if I want to connect this console to my cloud, again, I've, I'll know my right code and be able to enter that in. Now, while we can't tell you what your code is, if you are in a situation where you're stuck with this and you need a hand, we there's a couple things we can do to try to help you guess what it is. Some folks have used their license key in the past because they thought that was where we entered the license key. Some people will use the password they use for deep freeze as their customization code. Not really recommended, but eh, you know, some people do this. And we can help you kind of do a guess and test to get that back. Not the most efficient way to do it, but that, that's what we can offer at this point. Um, the other way you can try this is if you go into your, um, into your deep freeze console and bring up the one-time password generator, 
if your one-time passwords will unlock your workstations, you've got the right customization code. So that's another quick check there. So in closing, please, please make sure you document your customization code. The support team at Pharonix can dig you out of almost any hole you're going to get into except losing that code. For that, there's literally nothing we can do except have you tried this one? Have you tried this one? Have you tried this one? And at a certain point, it just becomes more cost effective from a time standpoint to reload. So again, write this thing down, stick it in an envelope, pin it to the wall in your server room. Make sure you have a couple places where you've written this down and keep it secure. Because if the wrong person gets their hands on this, they can take control of everything you've set up and make you have a really bad day. Thanks for listening. Keep this thing safe. Keep your code secure. And if you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to the support team. We're more than happy to help you out. Have yourselves a great day.